Hi, today is December 12th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1980 for the year, Surveillance Robot. At first, I thought the surveillance robot with the googly eyes in the giant, giant supermarket was dancing with me. Then I realized that it wanted me to get out of its way. By the time I realized that, I was already trying to get a picture of it, but the robot would not face front. I got a picture from the side and let the robot pass, somewhat relieved that I was not under suspicion. Poem number 1981, two for one. I wonder if the surveillance robot with the googly eyes in the giant, giant supermarket also cleans floors. If I had asked it, it might have said, yes, I do floors. You only have to buy one product for all of your floor cleaning and surveillance needs. But it might have added, but I don't do windows, which is reasonable. The surveillance robot in the giant, giant doesn't have any hands. Poem number 1982, perfect holiday gift. There are a lot of people and companies offering what they claim to be the perfect holiday gift. I'm not judging anyone. Perhaps everything out there that is being offered is the perfect holiday gift for someone. I was going to say that my latest book, which is called Palette and Other Poems, is probably not the perfect holiday gift for anyone. It contains all of the poems that I wrote in November, and who knows, maybe someone will buy it for someone. It's available on Amazon for $9.99. Maybe someone will buy it for someone, and maybe they will wrap it, and then when the receiver opens the present, they will perhaps they will exclaim, oh my god, this is the perfect holiday gift for me. Thank you so much. I don't think that's very likely, but it could happen. Poem number 1983, A More Likely Scenario. Maybe this holiday season someone will buy a copy of Palette and Other Poems and wrap it up and give it to someone, and when the receiver opens the present, perhaps they will exclaim, Oh my God, this is the perfect holiday gift for my friend. May I re-gift it? Perhaps ten people will receive and re-gift the same copy of Palette and Other Poems. It may not be the perfect gift, but it just may be the perfect re-gift. Poem number 1984, this is the last poem for the day, quite a gesture. Perhaps this holiday season, a single paperback book of poems may not be enough of a gift. Fortunately, John S. Hall has released eight paperback books this year. All of the poems from April to November are in paperback books, and by the end of this week, there will be three more out, January, February, and March. If someone were to buy all 11 books, that would be a $110 gift. That would be quite a gesture. I only have two or three of these books myself, but don't buy any for me. Books by me for me would not be books by me would not be the perfect holiday gift for me. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.